Over at Northern District's hospital, Dana is beginning to find Brie particularly difficult to work with, with her showing obsessive tendencies in the weeks since Felicity's death on the ward. Dana is further concerned when she returns to work the next morning to find that Brie is still there, having pulled a double shift. She points out that she really should go home and get some rest, for the patient's sake if not her own, but Brie bluntly replies that she'll ask for her opinion if she wants it. Back in the bay, it's the morning of Carl's court appearance, and a nervous Tane and Perry wait for Harper outside the surf club, who appears to be running late. With time getting on, Rose offers to give Perry a lift in her car whilst Tane continues waiting for Harper. But Harper won't be arriving anytime soon, as we discover when she shows up at the hospital clutching her stomach, nervously telling Dana that she's bleeding. Dana quickly ushers her sister into a cubicle as she tries to calm her and begins taking her obs as they wait for one of the doctors. But as Dana clocks Brie beginning to make her way towards their cubicle, Dana is quick to intercept her. Pulling Brie to one side, Dana puts her foot down to her superior. No, she states. You are not coming anywhere near my sister. Not when you've had zero sleep, it's not happening. Brie is speechless as Dana asserts that the only useful thing she can do right now is to go home. Theo is confused when he finds Stane still pacing up and down outside the surf club as he desperately tries to get hold of Harper, asking why he's not at the courthouse with Perry. Harper doesn't wish to burden Tane knowing how important today is, so claims that she overslept when she eventually answers. But Dana overrules her decision and takes the phone off Harper, telling Tane that he needs to get to the hospital. Will Harper and the baby be okay? And as Perry takes to the stand to speak out against his violent father, Will B be able to cope without his two allies by his side? 